but I've been told to uh, keep the smile, keep my smile to the minimal uh, in this delivery because it's just too ridiculous to uh, whip out every every other word. <laughs> it's pretty loud. Just a little bit of a comedy relief before the uh, main event starts. If people are wondering what that is, keep on wondering, because it's going to be good. I'm not joking. Either. I'd love to say I wish I was, but I'm not, uh, I don't do things by halves. And I really don't joke around when I'm serious. So that's the reason why it's so funny, you know, the situation. And it has to be delivered like this, because it's pretty fucking horrific otherwise. And it really is. When you when you understand what the um whether it's done unconsciously, subconsciously, or full on consciously, it doesn't really matter. It does not matter. Cause there is a thread there. And uh I've probably well yeah, I, I I I did I knew there was a uh, a reason why uh, I did, uh, uh, there was something going on with uh, these people, um, as in the ones closest to me. Um, they were, yeah, one of them anyway is really fucked up, isn't it? and to the extent of where there is no redeemable feature anymore, people out there, you will have to realize this, yeah, with this guy. Um, he really has pushed all his boundaries of self to the limit and not even look once at what he is and uh, comprehended that yeah you know it's the same as any other goblin guy I guess <laughs> but his um, spirit is uh, it's, it's demonic that's all I can say truly from what I've gathered from these other people but him to most of all him really I know Exactly, I'm just doing it. Oh, it's so much of a shocker to me, but I know exactly why. It was all left alone and uh, to a point to basically <laughs> scapegoat the main uh, people who, um, while well, they scapegoated themselves, is it? Is that what you call it? Uh, well, they, they basically blame shifted onto. Um, <laughs> you know the one who uh, uh, knew all about this from day one and he, he, he knew more about this uh, unconsciously than I did that's the reason why it was always in his mind to you know what I, how he was uh, like uh, embodiment of inertia and resistance to the flow because uh, he's like a stagnant pond he literally prides himself on his stagnation that's what he says to me he always blames someone else as well he always like, uses the word we yeah, you'll never change us or we, we'll, we'll never change and he's talking to it about himself, eh? So, you know, there must be a few of them there that he's referring to, I guess, uh, in order to not pin it all down on himself. The absolute goblin, as he is. And I've uh, not caught him, I've filmed him saying shit like this. Always in, like, a third-person perspective, like, I'm the most intelligent person I've ever met. 
I mean, to say that, you've got to be a fucking goblin freak, fucking self-deluded, self-delusionist to say it like that. You're the most intelligent person that you've ever met, what yourself has ever met. You're talking about yourself, I guess, again, and comparing it with all yourselves or whoever you, you find to be pushing pushing the uh, threshold of your um, limitations of intelligence around you. I'm talking love day now, yeah. Really going personal. <laughs> but uh, it's warming up, isn't it, before um, uh, the main uh, night starts. You know, got my, uh, got my leopard skin. Uh, hairband, cost me a quid. And then, um, kind of K's side of it. I thought I'd get a K's, why not? Uh, right, when people will understand this, when I read out these, this is how I has to be done so funny, because, look, I, I don't care anymore, yeah? People out there might get fucking a bit distraught and hurt when I reel it all back to them. It's going to be a little bit... Oh, I'm not going to lie, I'm, it's not going to be painful for me to do this, because... Uh, well, I've, I've done the um, this more the summary, so <laughs> and I've done the time involved to uh, to really comprehend this for, for what you knew anyway. The reason why I went down and smashed his door was because I was gonna do that to him. Really, that was the intention because of the fact he was not looking at these obvious emails and. Uh, evidence of which I was finding out, and he was the only one who could possibly understand. Uh, you know, and plus he's just got, got the sort of connections for it, to understand that shit like this too. Funny enough, and uh, so uh, like I said, whether it be unconsciously or consciously, some of the videos, man, what he says, and he's like. He speaks from the universe, yeah, in a way. <laughs> it's like the, uh, even though he's a goblin, um, the universe will use him to speak through as well um, for certain moments. And then it just goes back to the script, normal update script of, uh, ah, what are you gonna do about it? Oh, what's he gonna do about it? That's what he's probably gonna say, mate, eh, when he sees one of these films. What's he gonna do about it? Gonna... You've done it already, love day, you stupid, absolute moronic goblin of a man. Sorry, man, about that. But you are, though. Because it's ridiculous, this, man. Ridiculous how no one fucking picked up on it. That this was your uh, ultimate main intent. Don't matter who it was. do not matter. But because of the severity of the situation and the, the sheer reluctance to break down in front of you or behind the scenes or fuck up or die on my behalf, yeah? Because that's what you really hoped, didn't it? He? He's sicko. <laughs> and he knew as well. So this summer, it all pulled down to that muting thing. We'll mute him, teach him a lesson. Teach me a lesson. He's gagging for it. I'm gagging for a lesson. This is what he said to people here. Um, gagging for it. So, let me just get this right. I'm trying to again explain something to you. Over three years, to, over three years ago, to the point where I fucking go down and smash your door to make a point of that you needed to look at what I was doing online and regard what I was putting myself through in this right here literally five minute walk away from your house and that you could not be bothered to come to even check on the um, 
or weigh up the severity of the situation. So this is how much, this is what's spooky. It should be spooky for people. So much he really did want to cling on to his own skewered reality, of which he does impose on everyone else and expects them to abide with that reality, of which is not true. Uh, there's lots of bit, bits missing out. It's all skewered up to fuck. Everyone's got a bad name, apart from him. Um, you know, and maybe one or two others. But even then, it, uh, as soon as as soon as they're out of the picture, it'll, it, it'll be a different story. Then he's there. Uh, well, you know, not exactly saying great words either. It, it, he's a horrible man, spinning nothing but negativity and purposefully doing that, whether unconsciously, subconsciously, or consciously, knowingly, full well, judging by his pictures, his biro fucking pen drawings, which are seriously disturbing. They're like, they're, 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 they're like the artwork from that, um, that artist, that schizo artist, uh, top himself. Well, they're actually, well, they're done with a pen, pen, uh, biro uh, ink pen, and they're probably more uh, disturbing. When it comes to art from uh, someone with a seriously, well, it, it it expresses itself within the pen and the paper of what goes on in that man's head, because. Um, I, I could not believe that these were self-portraits um, when he told me. So that's what you think about yourself then, eh? And yeah, I'm just lingering around me, waiting for.